Hey guys, it's Bella Freestyle, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys probably a trick that you guys have seen like everywhere. Um, and I really just wanted to do a detailed story about it, so here it is. I know that it can be super hard sometimes for beginners because of the slacks and stuff involved, so I wanted to do a tutorial about it so that I can get all of you guys on board and get you guys learning this trick. So what you want to do to start is you want to throw a breakaway, land on a trapeze, and what you're first going to do is you're going to take your uh, non throw hand, yeah, non throw hand, you're going to turn it inwards. So you're going to take your point and just turn it inwards like this. And then you're going to take your uh, throw hand, point your finger, and spread apart the string just like this. So there should be a little bit of like a twist in the string right there near the bearing. And that's what's going to make the triangle once you do the next step. So the next step is you're gonna, so you're gonna do like this, you're gonna curl in and you're gonna take that string and spread it apart. And this is a, a little bit of a hard part. What you're gonna do is you're going to pop the yo-yo up like that. As you pop it up, it's going to basically go like that and at the highest point, let me see. At the highest point right there, you're going to want to then let go of this string and grab this one. A little bit of a tip there uh, for that is when you make sure you do the curl with your hand. So do um, take your middle finger, ring finger, and pinky and kind of hold the string like that because if you don't, it's gonna be harder to grab that string. So like, if I, was, if I wasn't grabbing the string, it would be hard to differentiate which ones. Like, I actually tried, and that's what I did. So it, it makes it harder when you don't do uh, the ring finger curl. So I would definitely recommend, like, when you hit the trapeze, just make sure you grab that, because then, once you're here, you see all that space. That gives me enough space to grab it. Make sure that you also um, go kind of slowly. So you don't have to go like, you don't have to go like, you know, like you don't have to do it super quick. Um, it's actually better if you do it slower in the beginning. So remember, just curl your hand, spread the string apart. And then you can even, another tip, you can, instead of going like this and having both your hands like this, it, it'll make it harder to land. So you want to actually twist this hand that you're taking. So instead of like this, you want to twist it so that this one is facing forward. So your actual throw hand is facing a little forward like this and you're only grabbing with your pointer finger. Because then that gives you space to almost like near your wrist, grab the string. And that gives you like definitely enough space to get the string so that like you're not kind of wobbling around. Okay, so once you get to the next step, so you're gonna be like this, okay? And then what you wanna do is you're going to want to pop the yo-yo out from the back. So you see that the string, if you pop the, the yo-yo out from the back, that triangle is going to be gone. And you're actually going to want to bring it up behind the back and land it in a triangle. So you saw how basically you're doing it all in one motion like that. And you can even like hold the string like I did just then. You don't have to let it go right away. You can just go like this. So it goes behind and to the front like that. And then once you know you landed it, then you can drop the string. And you can just practice that for a little while and just like practice getting it in, um, in one motion. So like instead of like, you can go like that and then do it and see, okay, that's how it works. Um, it's always better to know like the mechanics of a trick before you try and like do it a lot. So this next step, you're going to be in basically a ninja vanish. So once you've landed there, you are going. This is when you get this hand involved a little bit more. Your pointer finger of your non throw hand and your thumb of your non throw hand, and you're going to put them both in the string just like this. It's almost like a chopstick, if I were to describe it. It's like when you do a chopstick like that, and it lands on that string. You're going to want to do the same thing, but you're just going to grab. The string instead of the yo-yo landing in there. I go like this and once you have these two fingers in there you're basically gonna grab that string and pull it forward like this okay 
And you see how a ninja band should pop out the front? So what you're gonna do is, so once you go like this, grab that string, and the string that is in front of you, just like this, the one that is touching your uh, pointer finger of your non throw hand, you're gonna wanna hop the yo-yo onto that string and let go. And so once you grab that string and you've hopped onto the front, just like that, i drop the string. And right now you're in a red triangle, but just on one hand. Take this string and you almost wanna keep this hand like stationary. Like you don't wanna like, like move this hand a lot when you're doing it. So you don't wanna go like that because it's gonna make that slack do like some weird things. You're not gonna know where, where it's gonna go. So you want to definitely, uh, when you're doing it, keep this hand almost stationary. So just move uh, your throw hand like that. And you see how that slack was coming? That is what you wanna land on your hand. Now keep this hand pretty stationary and you're just gonna go like that. And you see how it like, I didn't move this hand up really at all and it landed right there. So that is how you do that step. So once you're here, then what you wanna do is you wanna take your throw hand uh, pointer finger, you wanna pinch it right here. You wanna pinch it um, in the triangle like this, and you're basically going to take this uh, hand and you're gonna let go, and you're gonna twist this all at the same time, like that. Once you're at that part, so okay, you're here, there. Pinch, throw this behind the string, that, grab it, and then you're also gonna, you're gonna let go of this hand again and pinch this again, and you're gonna go under, but just like that. Twist your hand so it goes like that, almost in a little like half circle. And then again, once you've thrown this and you've gone like this, go in a little bit. Okay, so you guys are almost done. Literally, it's just one more flex slide. Again, Swing this behind the strings and twist your hand. And then again, come over like a half circle. Then what you're going to do is curl your finger in a little bit, but you don't want to insert your finger curled. You want to insert it when it is uh, straight like that. This last slack aside is what kept me from doing this trick a long time because I didn't know how to do it. So basically curl your finger in just a little bit, not tightly, don't pinch it or anything, but just kind of curl it in like that. And what you're gonna do is you're going to Almost throw it at the ground. Ground. I did a little bit of slow motion there so you guys can see. Once you throw it at the ground, just keep your um, keep your finger straight to insert it. Like that. Again, throw it at the ground, just kind of like curl it in a little bit. Throw it at the ground. And it's literally just gonna land on your finger. Like, just like that. So like, practice that a lot, that last part. Um, even if you have to like, just go like this and like, once you're here, if you don't know this fully well yet, just kind of like, you know, maneuver the string around. You're like, okay, there. And then just practice this part and just practice it just like that. I mean, I have bad string tension, but um, also keep your string tension in check. And there you guys go. So that is how to do probably one of the most popular tricks that I know other than like the DNA and stuff like that. That is a really flashy, slacky trick, cool thing to do uh, for people out in public and stuff like that. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Uh, tell me what else you guys want to see in the comments and stuff like that. Today I used my signature colorway of the shutter, um, like I said earlier, and not bad string. You can get this all in the link in the description box below. Uh, you can also get all of my social medias down there if you guys haven't, aren't following me already. I have an Instagram and a TikTok. Um, but yeah, keep freestyling. Peace.